how to solve a problem and what is the solution well number one when you have a problem whatever it is you need to try to do a research just like everything else in the world you have to do a research and then get your pen and paper write it down and try to remember from the beginning to the end what happened how did it happen who created it and how you get involved with the problem and who causes it and how that problem rooted and become an issue you really have to think about that you really have to think deeper in other words you have to dig in before you can solve and have a solution you have to dig in because sometimes you're not even involved in that problem it just happened that you witness it and then you become the target and sometimes you were in the right place in the right moment and voila your name is on it so you really have to think and then also do not believe in anyone's point of view without you doing your own research is because everybody has different understanding of everything you may hear it the other way and someone can interpret it the other way so you have to dig in you have to write all the issue that become a problem and then sometimes you also have to think that the other person or the other party who's involved in that problem what is that person history or what is that person actually reputation or who is that person because sometimes it's not even you sometimes someone caused it and sometimes it's just happen and you're in it there are so many things that occur in our lives that we cannot avoid but it's just happened and there are no answer so solution solution what is the solution when you have a problem you have to analyze it but before you try to analyze it make sure you are not surrounded by people who are toxic because when you are surrounded by toxic and you trying to analyze your problem and trying to identify the problem or trying to diagnose the issue then the answer is you are in a wrong place with a wrong crowd or with the wrong people so the solution is to think straight and to have a clear vision and then try to search and dig and balance and compare the pros and cons because sometimes problem is just a small parts but if you neglect to solve it it's just going to get the roots or rooted in different direction and then that is how the problem become complicated because you didn't solve it in the beginning you ignore your gut instinct so the problem just got stuck and then next thing you know it got rooted to different direction 
and then voila all the problem is already in front of you so big and you panic and you don't know how to handle because you didn't think first before you react so the solution is to have a clear vision exactly what happened because sometimes when a problem occur most of the time actually it's not your doing but a third party or someone else and since we are brought up to think faster without actually looking inside the whole picture then sometimes we create our own judgment that we feel guilty that we didn't actually solve it in the beginning because we didn't think it's really important so that is how the problem get bigger and bigger and bigger and next thing you know we are feeling drowned because we don't know how to solve it so the solution is to write down how it happened who was there and who created it where did you hear it how did that person know about it i mean there are so many questions that you need to ask to yourself and write it down and then once you actually write all the pros and cons then your solution is to fix the problem and if you cannot fix it try to do one solution at a time because if it's a lot or a big problem and it's beyond your understanding what you have to do get a pen and paper write down the first step how are you going to solve it of course i don't know for example your problem i don't know your problem so i cannot write it down for you or try to give you an example but if you have or if you face or if you come across with a problem do not panic think about it first who were the people are involved in that problem and how that problem occur and how that problem begin and how that problem rooted out because sometimes the issue is not you it's the other person but the other person probably carried a whole lot of baggage or maybe you have baggages that you haven't solved it yet so it would actually grow so big without your um, permission because you are not thinking about the problem so the problem just actually it's almost like a trust it's just sitting out there and then another situation come along and then it becomes another problem and just piling up and piling up and next thing you know it's just boomerang so this is why it's very very important that we look into our own self first and then once you know the problem or if you can identify the problem then write it down and then ask yourself how you can solve it and normally trying to let go things if it is too heavy for you and if actually beyond your understanding try to find someone that you can talk to who actually is professional and who can help you to solve your problem sometimes people need someone to talk to not because they need an answer but just to get it out from their chest just to get it out all all this boiling confusion and complication that creating the problem within you know if you face a problem normally you panic because you're like oh my god i'm so surprised what is this now i just have 
another problem and then there's another problem and then it's just filing out but the best thing is to make sure that in your heart it has a clear heart when i say a clear heart meaning you don't have like ill will to anybody or to yourself regrets or you know those things that actually bothered you but once you remove all those toxic in your heart and then when you apply it to your brain or your thoughts and you think nothing but positive all those problems can be solved in no time it's because you can identify the problem so anyway this is just a blog and of course i just want to point out for disclaimer if you have a problem that needs to be solved talk to someone who's professional that way you can have an assistance or some guidance for disclaimer find someone who can help you to solve or help you to get a guidance because reality every individual every person every human being has different interpretation how to solve a problem but for me since i have faced so many different kind of types of problem this is why the best solution that i can only blog is that try to have a clear vision and then try to investigate try to search exactly what happened and then check it out and then if you know in your heart 1 million percent that you haven't done anything wrong that causes the problem then you can actually move on and live your life the way you want to live and always remember always think positive because sometimes things happen not because you want it to happen but because it's just life it's part of life i guess it's part of being an adult or maturity or you know when you're young you have to go through different kind of stages because you think it is a problem but in reality it's not a problem it is an opportunity to experience life a journey part of life because a lot of people actually i heard almost people that i talk to they always think life is hard but they do not know life is always great what makes life hard is the situation and this is where we're going to solve those hard times and difficult times and issue that come along in our life is because it's part of life cycle so try to investigate how the problem started and then soon as you can identify and then you can try step by step until you find the solution but mostly it's very important to have a clear vision how to have a clear vision and clear mind is to make sure that you do not carry any baggages because when you carry a whole lot of problem like all those baggages stuck in your heart stuck in your brain then your mind is not so clear and sometimes you think it is your fault when it's not so make sure that you have a clean heart and a clear mind that actually can combine together that way you can breathe and enjoy life is because the reality life is not complicated if there is a problem solve it if you want a great life enjoy life separate the situation that way you can always focus on the things that you want to do in life i hope it makes sense if not oh well right at least i point that i point this out and give you an idea so anyway this is just a simple blog nothing big that we have to think deeper problem 
always arise. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter whether you're rich or you're poor. Everybody has a problem. It's because we are human being. Because we live on planet Earth. This is just a temporary assignment that we have to go through. So, life is not guaranteed forever. So, try to enjoy your life now before it's too late. Always remember, every problem has a solution. And every solution has an option. Anyway, thank you very, very much. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe and follow me and get connected. Thank you.